Hey guys, welcome back to uh, this week's fitness um, video. I'm going to be talking about carbs um, and proteins and how they work together and dieting and drinking water and being healthy. So here it goes. So if you're a woman, you want to eat 20 to 45 carbs a meal and you want to stay within that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But at night time, you want to eat less carbs. And if you're a guy, um, or a man, whatever, guy and man, same thing. But a guy is allowed 65 carbs a meal. So, for instance, for a lady, you could have, like, for breakfast, for instance, you could have um, a piece of toast, or a piece of bread toasted with peanut butter on it. So, one slice of bread is 13 carbs. And, um, a tablespoon of peanut butter is 7 carbs. So, you add 13 plus 7 is 21. Plus, um, 13 if you have a glass of milk, one cup of milk, 2% milk, is 13 carbs. So 21 plus 13 is 34 carbs. So that, like, is a whole meal right there. Because every time you eat, you always want to, like, if you're going to eat a carb, you should have a protein with it. Because the protein balances out the carb and it levels out your blood sugar now also i'm pretty diabetic so that's why i'm saying if you have a carb you eat a protein with it and it balances you out and you have a perfect blood sugar not all the time but most of the time you do um and protein helps energize you and stuff like that i've noticed that so if you're a guy you're allowed 65 carbs so let's say for instance you had a hamburger for lunch if you're a guy so you know and you had a bun that's like 16 carbs and then you add the protein which is probably three carbs, that's 19. Then you add the ketchup, that's two. You know, that's 21, mustard, you know, all those. So everything has, on the back of like a nutrition label, has um, uh, nutrition facts. And there's sugar, there's sodium, there's just all sorts of stuff in there. But you want to look at the total carbohydrates for how the serving on recommended. Because that is what's going to help you. So, also, you want to eat less at snack time, at night time. Because most of us are inactive and we're just sitting around uh we've had a long day at work we're not burning off as much you know so and we're gonna go to bed so we're inactive so you want to eat like less carbs at night because you're just sitting around so um also it's just not about nutrition and carbs and protein. But if you're looking, wanting to lose weight and stuff, also, exercising is a key. Just not, um, excuse me, it's just not about eating right. It's also about working out. Now, also, your water intake. So, whatever you weigh, you divide it by two, and that's how much you're supposed to drink. 
So, you know, like, I'm supposed to drink 8 to 10 cups, I almost said cups, cups a day. And I've been good and consistent about it. And, you know, I don't like water, but I'm drinking it because I have to. So, and it's a source of life, you know. So, you know, our body needs it. So, all of those together, you know, a lot of veggies, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of, a lot of veggies seem like they're good, but a lot of veggies have carbs, like humongous carbs, sugars, everything that you put in your body besides water has sugars, you know, and carbs, and everything, <laughs> everything turns to sugar and carbs, you know, so you, for ladies, you want to stay within uh, 20 to 45 carbs a meal, but at snack time, at night time, before you go to bed, you want to be less. And the same thing for guys. They're allowed 65 carbs a meal, and then at night time, it may be less. You may want to cut down to, like, like, 45 or 40 or 35, you know. Um, but yeah, I hope that this is helpful to you guys um if you have any questions or comments please notify me down below and don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and um this i'm gonna do another video this week friday about my water intake so please uh stay tuned for that thanks